Hi, my loves. Okay, so the next step that I do after I just, you know, trim up my cuticles, and normally I wouldn't even do this, um, honestly, because my cuticles aren't really that bad, but when I'm really bad, when I am in that mode you know for a couple months i get really bad at biting my nails like down to the nubs i mean look how disgusting these are okay but look how beautiful they're going to be um after so what i usually use i do a medium bit i usually go at obviously forward when i'm doing my left hand and i usually put it even just like three three to five depending on your um e-file now when i was using my bell like i said i was using five but the um the young nails one is a lot stronger so i don't really need to go up to five okay so the next step is you want to kind of pull back your skin if you know some some people have more skin around this area especially for me since i nip around there so you want to go gently don't use a lot of pressure in your your hands should not be jabbing you should just be lightly holding it especially when it's at three and then you just want to kind of go around make sure that there's nothing still on the nail plate okay and i go really gentle just because you know my nails are in very very bad shape so i kind of push up near the cuticle that's why sometimes i don't even have to actually use my nippers because when i'm using my file i kind of go up and kind of massage that area and it does it for me so you just need to go around and then you see boom it's already done all you need to do is take the shine away you do not need to um sit there and take layers and layers off of your skin okay and you want to be gentle especially around here this is specifically for nail biters let me use this when you're when i'm a nail biter you bite around this area so it could become very very sensitive honestly all the nail could be very sensitive so be aware of that if you are doing some nail biters okay and personally i you know i kind of e-file around there to get a, get the skin away i'll take nippers to that um after the fact but you want to be careful like right there i'm not fully touching it yet i just want to show you um just make sure you assess the nails beforehand and what you're going to do with nails this short right now and how much i've bit them i don't recommend doing really long nails on these that's just me but have i done longer nails in the past yes i have i have gone against what the nail tech has said and you will feel pressure on your nails and they'll hurt a little bit at first so that's the difference i am a lot more educated i'm a lot more educated now in what i should and should not do um you know you would think i wouldn't bite my nails but i just i can't help it sometimes i honestly don't even know that i bit my nails until i'm already ripping off like skin that's how bad like i subconsciously bite my nails all right so i'm gonna stop real quick and go uh reverse I accidentally pressed the reverse actually before i stopped it but Okay, so now this hand, when you're doing your, um, using your left hand, especially if you're a righty, just go a little bit slower um, and just make sure you don't hurt yourself, okay? And I always say assist, use your right hand to move a little bit and help your movement with your left hand, okay? Because obviously you're not used to it as much. So just try to help yourself learn how to move your right hand to to help your left hand you know you'll get it over time i've gotten a lot better at even just doing my nails they're still oh, not as good obviously i think i will always be a step behind no matter how much i practice with my um, left hand but I have gotten a lot better where just a little extra filing helps. So, okay. 
and pull that skin back make sure because you're always nipping and biting at your nails so you want or your client is so you just want to be careful okay because that could cause lifting like those corner pieces right there you know like that you don't want to cause any more damage Look how bad my nails are. This is so embarrassing. Honestly, a year ago, I would have never showed my nails up close. But over time, you realize that other people are just in the same boat as you. And you just got to show realistically, you know, being honest and showing like what your nails are. You know, being a nail tech and showing people how your nails really look will make them more comfortable also it will help others so that's why i'm doing it because i know i will help others also so and then i just go in and i just make sure that nothing else is gonna okay i just want to make sure that i don't i want to make sure okay so I need a brush. Let me brush this away. All that dead skin. Or even, it was real skin, but it was hanging off. So, brush or, you know, paper towel. You could use a manicure brush. Whatever. I usually just kind of use this first. Um, and then I'll just go in and make sure that I am not... You want to make sure your nails look as good as possible. You know, you want to make sure they clean them up and stuff like that. Sometimes I actually do this after because, you know, filing too much and cutting, you could accidentally um, cut yourself and then, you know, putting on acrylic and all that could actually hurt and burn your skin. So that's up to you. If you want to do the real cuticle area obviously as long as it doesn't um cause any damage to your application um you could do it after but i i it kind of just whatever mood i'm in you know like if i know i'm being super careful i know i won't cut myself beforehand then i just go along and do it like this but sometimes if i'm i know like there's some parts that i could you know be accidentally cut myself i try to just do it after i do my nails as long as it's not on the actual nail bed you're fine okay next step swipe this is swipe i promise you but with it being in the sun a little bit the blue dye actually goes away a little bit so no biggie okay so i swipe my nails you can use your alcohol. You can use whatever you want. It's up to you. You could use whatever company you want to. You don't have to use Young Nails. I am just comfortable with using Young Nails. Okay. And I don't use man Manicure. is for um, like gel polish and things of that sort. You do not use... Um, this is for like the sticky layer or the surface uh, um, of Manicure. What is it? The gel products like these, you know, if you're using Synergy gels, if you're using gel polish and stuff like that. Um, that's what that's for. Swipe is for before. OK. All right. So now that's done. Since I'm going to be using forms, I'm going to protein bond just one hand. And I don't like to try to touch the skin or anything like that. You wanna be careful in only getting the nail, okay? You don't want to. I spilled, in the one video, I spilled like half a freaking container of my protein bond. I was so mad. Okay, so you want to try to make sure you get a good amount, but not, you don't want to flood it because that could actually cause, that could actually cause lifting, believe it or not. 
So I'm not going to do protein bond on this hand yet just because I'm not doing it yet and I need this hand to actually apply the acrylic. So I'm just going to one, two, three, four, five. Let's just do five for right now. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to show you how to put a form on. So personally, you have to make sure that you know, um, well, actually you might not know beforehand because what if you're doing a client for the first time? All right, so some nails are more boxy. So you see how wide this one is because I, normally the nail would grow down and it would actually, let me get my, the nail would actually be like right here if I didn't eat at it, okay? So all this is gone. So technically the nail would be down here, but since I bit the nail up here so much and it's so wide, you might have to take nippers and cut it so that it fits the actual nail. Now, I've also seen someone they won't even use forms. They'll actually put acrylic right on the nail bed and then um, just kind of push it out. Maybe I should do that, actually. Okay, I'll just show you one form on a nail bed, it, but I think I'm going to actually do it the way that I saw it, where you don't even use forms or uh, nail tips at all you actually just extend out your nail to make it look like it's just your real nails because i kind of actually want more of a manicure all right so the form you want to pinch it right there okay so i'm going to use this one because this nail looks like the most straight to be honest so for the fact that this nail is going to kind of not fit on each side you see how it honestly isn't fitting on each side so you kind of want to take nail um scissors i'll show you so to do forms on nail bitten nails you want to take that pressure off so the nail is there and the nail is there so I like to cut down like a little V off of it okay so there we go cut that side And then cut that side. Okay. Now, once you put it on, you will see that it fits it better. You see how it's right next to the actual nail, like way better. It actually fits it. And it could you could push it. It's straight. Now you could squeeze the form on the bottom cup it to the finger and now it fits perfectly and you can squeeze it up and up closer and closer and now it could be a tighter fit you see how it's a tighter fit this is actually going up a little bit which i normally would uh do if i was doing a um russian almond or things like that so that actually is a little bit too up so let's take this and lift it down just a tad bit i just don't want to show you guys the wrong way okay so let's just take this off and i'll show you again okay so you want to make sure that line is in the middle okay I want to make sure there we go so this sticker just has to go down a little more it was a, just a little it was cocking up a little too much okay but that's it and you could just move it 
pull this up a little more, pull this up a little more, and this will straighten it out so that it um, will be straighter. The, you see how the form was kind of uh, up at an angle a little more that is perfect for Russian almonds because you want it to go up a little more so that it has that deeper you make that um it's deeper on the end you know what I'm saying so it's straight now you see how it's straight before it wasn't when you're doing Russian almonds certain things like that so with the form for this this is how you would fit it you want to cut on each side okay so that's how you would do that that's how you make the form fit a nail bit and nail you want to make sure it relieves the pressure because just imagine imagine if i didn't cut those right could you imagine how tight it would be and how uncomfortable it would be on the finger on top of it wouldn't be able to fit it wouldn't get up on each side like that and you could always go back, cut more out if it needs to be. Do what you need to do. Okay? So that's how you would do it. Should I do all forms? Or should I just build onto the nail? I kind of wanted to just build onto the nail and make it look like I have like just regular nails, to be honest. So that's why I didn't want to do forms. I want to um, do it on a really old 